girl, Tatiana. I'm Tamani. And today we are coming to the vlog with a story time about... You guys gotta stay tuned. But before we even get this video started, make sure you go subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notifications right next to the subscribe button. You're going to just click the bell and turn on the post notifications for all of the videos that we upload. And what else? And give us a big thumbs up. And smash that like button. Smash, 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 smash that like button. Okay, baby sleep, so we don't want to be too loud. But we wanted to share you guys an experience that happened to me um, last year, I want to say in October. Yep, that's the exact year that it was that's in. My month. Birthday. Yep, that's your, your birthday month. So um let's just jump right into the story time video so one day we were going to look for houses during our moving process right Kailani? yeah and we went to go meet with our realtor do you remember what our realtor's name was yeah what serena you have a good memory so we went to go meet with our realtor and um this was actually the second time that we went to go view this particular house, okay? I had both Kylan of the girls went. with me. Mm -hmm. Kylan went. Um, she was, she was, she was, oh Three my months. gosh. No, she was two months. She was two months. Now, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I am, like, getting pissed off all over again because the situation could have been so much worse than what it actually was. Um... So it was myself, um, Kehlani, and Kylan, and then our realtor, Serena. And we were checking out the house, right? Like, just like every house, it was a normal day. So we... this part, like, of it was so, like, angry. It made you angry? Yeah. Yeah. So we were checking out the house. Like, we were checking out every other house. We've been to this house before, but this was going to be, like, our final say to decide, do we want to go ahead and purchase this house or put in an offer for this house, or do we just want to bypass this house and go look for something different? So I was really trying to look in detail at everything. So we walk in the house. We're looking at the house. We get ready to walk in the backyard. We're standing in the backyard for a minute. Kehlani's back there. Okay. And then, so I was at uh, looking out the window. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? <laughs> so Kehlani's back there. Serena, our realtor, is back there. I'm back there, but I have the baby in my arms. So it's all four of us back there, right? We look on the floor, and I thought that I saw dog poop, but I wasn't for sure. You know, the home, like there was still trash out there. It looked like they were still cleaning. So if you've ever been in the, the moving process where you're buying a home, comment below, you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. But they were still in the process of like cleaning. They didn't have any anything in the house specifically, but they were still cleaning. So nobody was there. It was a vacant house, okay? So I had no reason to think that there was a dog no sign was up. I had no reason to think that there was a dog around anywhere, okay? So we're outside. I turn around, next thing you know, I don't know what kind of dog it was, but it has to do with, it was a mixed, something mixed. It was a little dog, but it was still kind of stocky. You know, if I'm standing up, um, if he would jump up, he would probably be at my thighs, um, but it was still like a, you know, a chunky, stocky kind of dog. I'm not a dog person. So I don't really know what kind of dog it was. But all I know is that I was trying to get to the house, in the house, as quickly as possible. Do you? Yeah. Okay, we'll tell them in a little bit. So I was trying to get in the house as quickly as possible without making any sudden moves because I didn't want that dog to jump up at me with my two-month-old in my arms and then me trying to make sure that my four-year-old got in the house and she didn't get bit. So... I don't exactly remember 
what happened first, but I just remember calling Kehlani and telling Kehlani to come walk to me. I think as soon as she saw the dog though, she ran and that's what triggered the dog because okay, giving the dog the benefit of the doubt, we're on its property, okay? I don't know if the owners, clearly did, they just left that dog there. They didn't want the dog. The people who were staying there before didn't want anything to do with the dog. Otherwise, they would have took the dog with them when they moved to their new house or left to their new house or whatever. So who knows how the dog might have felt, okay? He might have felt attacked, like we were trying to do something. I don't know. I don't have a doggy brain. I don't know. I was thinking like a human at the time. So I was just worried about getting in the house as quickly as possible. Serena, our realtor, was closer to the dog. So she was trying to kind of like shoo the dog away but once Kaylani saw the dog and she ran inside like ran to me the dog barked which made me scream Kaylani got in the house quick I tried to turn around to get in the house quicker as quick as she did because of course I have my two month old in my hands and her feet are dangling okay so I turned around Kaylani what happened the dog bit you the dog bit me where did the dog bite me Right here. Where's that? They can't see. Where's that? On their thigh. Yeah. The dog bit me in the back of my thigh. And I'm glad the dog bit me and not one of my kids because I would and not have been able to get to Kaylani fast enough if the dog would have gotten to her because of the fact that I had my baby in my arms. And of course, as a mom, like we go into complete protection mode. So my worry, especially since she had shorts on and she's smaller, was just trying to get her into the house quicker, trying to just get her in the house, right? Yeah. So she got in the house. Luckily, my body was turned, even though the baby's feet were dangling, so the dog did get the baby, so that was another win, but instead of my kids getting bit, I got bit. How did you feel about that, Kaylani? I felt, like, angry, and you had to run to the doctor, and then what happened? Oh, I got a shot. So I didn't go to the doctor directly, like right on that day, because I was I, my mind couldn't even like comprehend it. Like it was Kaylani's birthday, we were trying to take her to the fair at the time to enjoy the fair for her birthday, um, and I just I, I couldn't call Matt because he was at football practice so Serena ended up calling her husband and we kind of she called the the realtor of the other people who were selling the house um or like the, the agent or whatever Brandon and like, is like no like, Brandon was our new realtor but she called somebody else um and it was kind of just like did this really just happen long story short even though the story was already kind of long we didn't end up getting the house um everyone was telling me like you should have sued or whatever and like I don't know I just never did like I went to my whole concern especially because I was breastfeeding was trying to make sure that that dog didn't have rabies or that I didn't have anything inside of me because the dog it pierced my skin like I'm gonna have to see if I can get a picture and like post a picture over there or something but the dog pierced my skin and I'm trying to I'm just about to look right now to see if I still have I think I do but let me look yeah, I do. I still have the scar from where the dog bit me. So I went to go get, I think it's like a tetanus shot or something like that. I got the tetanus shot. Um, there was nothing wrong with me. Everything ended up being okay, but it was just like, wow, did I really get bit by a dog at a house that I was supposed to be buying? And like in, in my mind at the time, I was like, okay, you know what? They definitely have to give me the house this time because how the hell am I gonna get bit on this property and you guys are not gonna give the house to me? But then I was like, I don't want, like I'm gonna have that memory in this house forever, number one. Number two, the house really wasn't as big as we wanted it to be with the kind of space that we were looking for. Um, for our kids to be able to run around the house had stairs in it I just even though we could have blocked the stairs I was looking for something that was going to be long term okay we're buying a house and when I'm talking long term I'm talking about at least four or five years like this wasn't the, the house even that we're living in now is not going to be the house that my kids are in when they're like in you know seventh and eighth grade and so on like high school and all that kind of stuff 
Um, but we love the house that we are living in now. We love the decision that we made to bypass that house. I didn't want for that memory to stick with me. And I just knew, knowing me, I knew that that was the only memory that I was going to have of that house. I didn't want that to be the first memory that I had. And I didn't want that to be a memory at all in a house that I was living in. So we bypassed the house, never end up suing the people. I called SPCA to try to get the dog picked up. Um, couldn't do that because there was nobody in the area. Like, I just decided to let it go. Like, I just decided to let it go. But that's our story time. And next time we go look for a house, which the next time we do buy a house, I plan on buying a house if it's God's will, you know, God willing, that nobody has ever lived in before. Are you leaving me? No. Why are you leaving? I thought we were telling the story together. But that's it for the story time, Trey Gang. Thank y'all for listening uh, to our story time, and we're about to go eat lunch. And if you have not done this yet, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell and turn on the notifications. And smash that like button. Smash it, smash. Until next time, Trey Gang. Peace. Peace.